Long Hill Farm coming at you today. Cleaning out the goat run here. This is their the new area that I'm trying to get done for the goats. That I can then hook up to their paddock so that they have inside space and outside space. Put the mineral feeder in here, put their hay in here, that kind of stuff so that when they want to go outside and get sun or play or whatever they can do that, if they want to eat, if it's raining, they can keep everything dry in here instead of trying to build them a hutch out there or something like that for the summer. I probably will also build them something out there at one point so that they have some sh more shade, but there's a nice tree out there now that gives them lots of shade. They can sun themselves when they want or they can kind of just relax. So right now I have swept the entirety of the space. I've removed all the wood. And I don't know if you remember, but there used to be a gate over here, a, a feed trough and a wall over here. And then the wall spanned the entirety of the space down there. What we're doing right now is the reason I'm doing that is to look at all the footings and the bases of these columns that are in the barn to take a peek at what we're kind of dealing with in terms of stability in the barn. And I've removed this one completely. It's gone. It's actually here. And uh, some of the pieces are up there. This is all a mess, so don't worry about all that. But as you can kind of tell on the second post here, we really start to take a the second post right here we really start to take a departure from the wall we're all cracked up broken and things start to kind of fall away it looks like potentially down and the footings have settled quite a bit there you can see that there's some definite gap in there I don't know what all this concrete is doing or what they were trying to accomplish with that Maybe it, they put the form up here and just assumed it was level with this, on the, this, that this pad was level with this floating part. And when they put the form up here, it kind of spilled down and around, which, ugh, not, not ideal. And then the, the last one you can see is actually falling apart the most and actually tilted. And, and what you can see here is that this is the footing in here. This goes down quite far. And the reason I can kind of tell that is because we can hit it with our hammer, which is down here. You hit it with a little three pound hammer and you can hear the ting of this being so solid. Whereas if you, hear, if you hit it on the floating floor, you can really hear the difference. So let's see if we can, if we can hear the difference. So, you're solid. echoey stuff solid so that footing is solid what we can do is we can reuse it we can kind of crack out level out the chip off and level out the top of it and put the post back where it needs to go in the meantime I had really good eight foot posts beams fence beams here so I just kind of hammered one in. Just in case something weird happens or there's a shift or something, there is some support on that beam. Safety first uh, over here. Now that I got most of it cleaned out, my next project is going to be to figure out how to reinstall that beam and then install the fence. Because what I need to do for this area right here, what I would like to have, this is like where you come and stand. The goats are in here. I could, I put a little, a fence like this high so it's about four feet off the ground from the base but right here so that when I'm standing on this pad up here I can quick easily lean over and drop hay in a feeder put mineral in the, the mineral feeder all that stuff do water all that fun stuff over the fence without having to come in here all the time this one especially that's not part of the footing this isn't the footing because that resting on here this is just what they poured over so you can easily remove all of this uh, and what, what am I going to do with it all? I guess it looks like I am going to remove it just to get better understanding of what's actually happening. And they, it's very easy to just ch 
chip off with my hand. You can kind of see here. Just getting it. Gotta get it cleaned up. Get all that dirt out of there. Honestly, I really debated knocking all of these out, renting a jackhammer, jackhammering all around them, knocking them out, re-pouring uh, solid foundation footings and re buying new poles and all that stuff but i really think it's going to be fine to keep these poles a uh, and b just replace this one which i'm not even going to replace the pole there's it's solid it's really thick gauge steel filled with concrete it's a really good post it's got a lot of like like this one got a lot of rust and stuff on the bottom but since it's filled with concrete, as long as that rust doesn't really do anything, it doesn't shear off, we should be okay. That's what, because that was my concern, is like, if something comes in here and, you know, not hits it, but I mean, I don't have cows, I have goats. Nothing that big is really going to be in here to hit it. So what I was going to do is come to the this edge here, which is this, this floating pad here, kind of along this whole line, come to here come up and basically square it out. So I was going to put two by six forms in and then pour concrete in here around new posts that are on uh, the old footings. But I won't be able to tie that into this concrete. And if this is already falling down or away, and it, it, hopefully it's all settled, but if, if for something happens, it's, the moisture gets in and it swells and cracks, I mean, on, this whole block will just easily crumble and fall away. It doesn't make a ton of sense to do that big block and extend this walkway out. I think I'm going to do is leave it. I'm going to flatten out that footing, put the old pole back on it, and call it a day. What I think I'm going to do is pour concrete in here to extend this walkway that way, just about 18 inches. It'll be aligned with this and everything here. And I won't have to worry about any of this if I want to make the door bigger. That was the other thing. I'd like to make this door a little wider. Get the tool cat in here. They have a sliding door or something, about eight feet. Currently the door is 45 inches wide. It would be really nice. If I could come right over to here. Basically, I'm lying with this. I don't know if you can see me anymore. Come all the way over to the, the limestone. That gives me about 103 inches. Uh, let's lose four inches of that, or three and a half, or four by four. You know, we're using a six by six to take some of the weight, so we, we still have plenty because eight feet is 96 inches, and I've got 103, 104 inches. So that means I've got six, seven inches to work with. This beam right here, you can't uh, that beam I think goes all the way up. And then that beam, the furthest one, supporting the king beam on this foundation too here. So yeah, kind of the plan. The next step is gonna be to kinda of pound out this footing and kinda of see uh, my the neighbor friend was telling me that what I should do with this footing is just get like a two inch paver or something. Uh, so basically grind that down as far as I need to to get the, the post, the pole, it's two uh, fittings or whatever it sits in. Allow that, two of those, and a two inch paver stone, the concrete slab, that will take some of the weight and distribute it across the footing better. Uh, but the footing actually, and also to elevate it a little bit, but the footing I don't know how easy it's gonna to be to chip that out. I got a chisel, I got my hammer, I'm gonna bang, 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 knock that out a little bit, see if I can't get it flat. I was also, I have a masonry bit for my angle grinder. I was thinking about using that, just to see. I'm gonna actually go get the vacuum right now, though. I'm gonna clean up this hole a little bit better because it is, it's a pretty dirty, dirty spot. I mean, there's um, still a lot of concrete in here and I can get my hand down in here, you know, quite a bit. Like there's movement in here so I might want to take out all this and just so I can see things better and see what's happening I don't know if I should fill this back in too with sand or something to give me a little bit more of a uniform level surface that can be pushed down on 
I don't know. I don't know. I haven't done any of this before, so hopefully I'm doing the right thing. If I'm not, we'll see. So, that's not ideal. Ah!